today, you will see how humans and machines are combined together as one. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and Arthur here and welcome back to our channel. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon so that you will not miss any of our upcoming videos. In medicine, prosthetic implant is an artificial device that replaces a missing body part which may be lost through trauma, disease, or a condition present at birth. Prosthesis are intended to restore the normal functions of the missing body part. And today in this video, you will see seven examples of how prosthesis is done by connecting robotic limbs to human bodies so they can work and live a normal life again. And since we don't want to waste your time, let's proceed to our number one. Number one is robotic arms full functionality. Improvements in body armor have kept more soldiers alive, but many veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan have come back with debilitating injuries. Here is a man whose left arm was amputated tests out some of the future limbs now in development. Prosthetic hands provide functionality, mobility, and confidence to amputees. With these devices, amputees can overcome trauma and lead rich, full lives. Number two is the robot arm prosthetic controlled by thought. Johnny Matheny is the first person to attach a mind-controlled prosthetic limb directly to his skeleton. After losing his arm to cancer in 2008, Johnny signed up for a number of experimental surgeries to prepare himself to use a DARPA-funded prosthetic prototype. The modular prosthetic limb developed by Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory allows Johnny to regain almost complete range of motion through the Bluetooth-controlled arm.
Number 3 is the mind-controlled bionic limbs developed at MIT. Smart limbs being developed at MIT are possible because of the A-wing amputation. You better take a look at how it works. Number 4 is the veterans who receive advanced prosthetic arms. Prosthetic hands are devices designed to help those with full or partial hand loss retain the function and appearance of a regular hand. Just like this Vietnam veteran who shows off mind-controlled prosthetic arm. Number 5 is Veteran shows off mind-controlled prosthetic arm. For years, scientists have been exploring how we can use signals from the brain to control prosthetic limbs. Usually, this work is focused on restoring motor function to people who have lost an arm or a leg. Just like this one in a video, this is really possible now. Number 6 is Man Gets Prosthetic Arm Losing an hand or an arm doesn't mean losing independence. Thousands of people across the United States have lost all or part of an upper limb due to accident, infection, diseases, and many more. With the use of prosthetic arm, this man is able to work again. Number 7 is STEM students developing prosthetic limbs using 3D printer. An Albuquerque robotics class did more than just lend a hand to a Colorado teen after a traumatic accident. They gave him a new one. For the first time in 4 months, Aiden Valdez was able to use his left hand through the use of this artificial hand connected to it. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar and I'm Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.